Um, Ranting was a courageous man, and he, he, he was to speak about our uh, problems. Uh, yeah, yes, they killed him, unfortunately. But we have uh, uh, Sebak Balıkçı as well. He didn't say any, any word about the Amin issue, and he, they killed him as well. They say about speaking about the genocide days. They killed whoever is speaking or not speaking. You know, it, it was not the matter of speaking. So, to have a courage, of course, all of us ha has to have some courage, um, because uh, um, two things can be transferred: the fear and courage. Uh, when uh, everybody you know uh, transfers fear to each other, you can't move, you can't do anything. Um, of course, I understand the fear factor because so many things has have ha happened to our community. Mm -hmm. But to only live with fear doesn't solve anything. If you say you are an Armenian, I am. I yes, I am. You are in danger somehow for somebody. So to, to ask for your rights in a diplomatic way, or of course you have to consider about the conditions, uh, what is going on. So uh, is is not a bad thing. That is, but that's what I am trying to do. I'm not a hero. I don't want to be a hero. I want to walk with my friends, with the Democrats, with uh, everybody to ask for our rights. That is it. I came here and just just saw so many Armenians. Their faces were just similar to the Armenians that I know in Istanbul, because they are they are, they are all from Dikranagert, Harpert, Malatya, Kayseri, Sivas or wherever, or Izmit, Bo, Bo So um, that is our land. But uh, so many people are speaking like uh, outsiders, you know. And Turkey has to do this, Turkey has to do that. You, uh, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? It's not a good thing. It didn't work. So we are insiders. We are from there. We are from that land. And th that land is still bleeding. And uh, we, we have to take care of whoever suffers there, and if that land is a, uh, let's say, a black, uh, has black clouds on it, we, we have to consider about it. So, um, our, and we have a bond for 100 years, and we couldn't, it, it didn't live heal, it didn't heal, no. So, to get over it, to get healed, we have to consider that we, uh, we, we will solve the, this issue in Turkey. And so, without a democratized Turkey, we won't achieve anything about it. Uh, we had the, you know, the, let's say, in the previous years, we had the peace process and democratization. So we took the, uh, some of the advantages with that, about the Amin issue. But nowadays, it is a winter again. It is the dark, we have we're living the dark days. Everybody is suffering and the fear factor is again on the table to have demands about uh, the recognition of the Amin genocide or justice for granting or asking our rights about the Amin issue. So Just yes or no, will we have a peaceful reconciliation between Armenians and Turks in our lifetime? Un unless, we, we, if we don't have a democratized Turkey, no, never. in the country and at the same time so we can solve all of the problems together. It's quite hard situation, it's not easy, but I think I, I see also a lot of hopes which can uh, build new bridges where we can build up a, a new situation for ourselves. You know, there are many Armenians, many Turks, many Kurds who want democratic values, institutions in Turkey. What can they do as ordinary citizens here? Well, especially before the Armenian was oppressed, now the Kurds are oppressed, but we see also the rest of the Turkish society becoming oppressed more and more. 
this makes that all together they will come and we will solve uh, all the problems. You haven't heard it enough times why you're so special to all the people. I mean, you've rejected, it looks like you've really rejected the notion that you're a guest or a foreigner in your own country. And that you should consider yourself fortunate to just be tolerated. You seem to be a return to the Armenians that were elected to Parliament before 1915. Those who did not ask for rights, but also began to just exercise their rights. We see you as a reformer working for a better country, for the dignity of the people in Turkey, and may God give Turkey many, many Garo Pailans. Before I ask Garo to join us on joining on stage, there are a few people I have to mention and give special thanks to. Two of them are Hurant and Nuran for initiating this evening's talk. Thank you. And we also have to thank Andre Farah, who's our sound engineer, and without him, we'd be in big trouble. Everyone, please join me in welcoming Birthday. <laughs>